My name is Nari Sol, I'm a pianist composer, and in this video, we're gonna dive deep into Liszt's Sonata in B minor. This piece was published in 1854, and it was written around the time when Liszt was retiring from the stage. He was one of the most famous pianists, and he was known for his virtuosity and his glamorous performances. And around this time, he was switching gears and was focusing more on composing, teaching, and spirituality. This sonata is famously known for its innovative structure. What Liszt does with the music, namely using very simple motives in the beginning and transforming them into remarkable sections, was never really done before. And since then, so many pianists are toiling over its difficulty and its challenges, and a lot of composers have taken inspiration from this work. Right from the beginning, in the first page, if you look at the score, Liszt presents basically all of the material that he'll draw from for the rest of the piece. The piece starts with a very dark and ominous descending scale. This descending motive recurs throughout the rest of the piece. Then we have the most terrifying moment in piano repertoire, which everyone just fears because after that opening, you have to nail this octave jump. I don't know if I could do it. <laughs> The next motive happens right after. And it's this menacing, again, in the lower register sound with the repeated notes. Something that's significant about the way Liszt uses this motive and transforms it is that he's using the same materials, but he's turning them into very different sounds, different colors with different emotional palettes. And I think this to me is very moving because it's almost like he's remarking on how something from the same source, something that gives you pleasure can also be very terrifying, can also be very challenging. And that's why you hear this motive being transformed from everything from menacing sounds to something very loving. For example, this is Liszt's true genius at play. This menacing sound gets transformed into something that has the opposite emotional quality. So I'm gonna first play it for you so that you recognize it. So what you can recognize is that you have those repeated notes. So that iteration of the same motive is so loving, it's so tender, and it sings. To me, the sonata is about the battle of forces. There are devilish themes that are very menacing. There are themes that are so loving and embracing. There are heroic themes, very noble sounds, and all of these combine to create moments of tension and release. And that is why this sonata is so engaging. To me, this is sort of like how life is. You have all of these different forces at play and they, are battling each other, but they also coexist and you don't necessarily have to have some massive resolution to find peace. And that's also why I love listening to different interpretations of this piece because depending on how the transitions are dealt with, how the different sections are played in terms of 
the emotional intensity, the tempo. This arc can be so different. And so I invite you to pay attention to these details and keep that in mind the next time you listen to this amazing piece.